All right, so here we are. We're going to take a quick peek at the new TED Ed. It's got some awesome updates, and this is what is frustrating for some and awesome for others about working with Web 2.0 tools is they kind of get better. Now, the downside of that is you kind of got to figure out where they put stuff, but it's still awesome. So, for example, this is new. We used to have a YouTube button right up here, and this is how you took YouTube videos and turned them into lessons. Well, now they have this kind of find and flip, and we start by finding a video. So once you're here, you want to insert the URL of any YouTube video. So uh, this is popular. The student came out and did a rant on his teacher who kept on giving him uh, who kept on giving him worksheets. He's a kid who dropped out and came back, so he's got an interesting perspective. Anyway, I want to flip this lesson and have a conversation around it online. So I'm going to take the URL. The URL is the address in, this, in the address bar right up here. And we want to go back to TED Ed, and we're going to paste that. And say search. Thinking, thinking, there it is. Okay. Now, you can actually search YouTube through this. I can just put a topic in here and a bunch of videos will come up. In this case, I knew the actual URL, so I'll just select the video. And I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna turn this video into a lesson. Click the flip this video button. Okay, a few things about the top. Listed is fine. Allow flips of your video. That means another teacher can view your lesson and maybe change something. Do you want others to nominate it as a best flip? Sure, maybe. Um, these are all good things. Like we want, we want to share what we make because at some point you're probably going to want to borrow the work of somebody else. And this is kind of working in the 21st century now. So let's look at our editables. We can edit the title. I'll keep it the way it is. Down here, let's begin. So maybe I'm going to put, I like to use this space for my objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to dot, dot, dot. Or, in order to access this lesson, you need to know blank. If you are not ready, go here. So, this is where when we have a system of flips, a system of digital lessons, I can say, uh, let's go find another video on YouTube. Let's see if I can find this guy's rant. Uh, student mad at teacher. That's probably this guy who's trending right now. Okay, here's the original. I'm going to say, I want this link to take you to the actual original video. This is an actual newscast. But if you're not ready, let's go back and watch this original. This chain button right here is like the web symbol for hyperlinking. Insert link. Paste the URL. And always open link in a new tab. And now we'll have a hyperlink right there for students to go back on. So now let's look at the format. We have watch and then we have think. Think lets us create questions. This is freaking awesome. You can have open-ended or multiple choice. Question. Add answers. Answer. Answer two. I think you get the idea. Answer three and this is the correct one. Next. Now here's a nice feature. Preview. Save. I can go back and edit. Now right here at the question page, I can say at 45 seconds. Oops. Uh, 
at, if the student gets this question wrong, now I can, it'll tell them, it'll prompt them to click that button. Create another question, open answer. What is your opinion? Let's go back and check. We have oh, question number one right here. And question number two. You can put lots up to 15 questions. And when the students fill this out, as long as they have a TED account, they need to be signed into TED with their name up here. Well, if you have younger kids, let's make another question. Update. Let's create a new question and let's just straight up say, uh, your name. This will probably have to be an open question, but if your kids are young, make one of the questions where they have to submit their name and that way you can sort responses. And then you create a generic class account with one email and everybody can sign in, give it out to the students, they can sign in and take the test. Dig deeper, you can now give them web quests. Now that you've watched this, let's go look at this famous historical example or something from actual content and a link to a web page. Discussions are where you can post a question and the students can actually have discussion threads but they need to be signed in to use it and finally you can outline the next assignment a link to the next video lesson all of this becomes tabs for this um, for this video that the students can watch and then we press let's see what the preview looks like this is what it will look like to your students video think we've got question one Question two, dig deeper, discuss, and finally. So this is a format, and whatever you put in will come up here for the students. It's really, really nice. The last, this is the end of this video. We can go back to editing again. We can finish the flip. And the next video, I'm going to show you what the student results look like. Cheers.